Well, good morning. You know, if you ever run into a pet emergency, which can happen, uh, there are some things you should know you can do at home that can really make a difference in the long run as you take your pet to the vet. So that's why Lisa Wagner is here from Walks and Wags. She's actually got a first aid course coming up. When is it again? April 24th and 25th. Really intensive first aid course. It's going to teach you all of the things you need to know. So tell me a bit about the course. The course was designed 10 years ago by Ethne Dickinson of Oakland Educational Services. Okay. And it's mainly cat and dog first aid, but it also transfers over to many other different types of pets. We're going to assume that Kitty here has had a run-in with a dog, okay? So, uh, torn ear, we're saying, and we're going to tell you how we can uh, patch that up before you take them to the vet. What should we do? So the first thing that we teach in the course is how to assess an animal for injury and we found that the only injury on Kitty is her ear. That's a good thing. So check all over first. Absolutely. And we'll discuss how to do that. In the course. Great. And so first thing we want to do with any type of bleeding wound is take sterile gauze and apply pressure to help stop the bleeding. So I'll I'm going to ask you to do that. Pressure. Now we want to hold that gauze on. So we will take a gauze roll mm. and completely cover the gauze pad. Now, is this special pet gauze, or can you use... This is straight out of the human first aid kit. Oh, great, so you probably have it in your bathroom cabinet. Absolutely. Now, the reason we want to cover all of the gauze pad is to make sure that the blood doesn't start soaking out. Mm. If you do find that right here the blood is soaking out, do not take off this wrap. The oh. reason being is then the blood can start spurting again and it won't clot. So we'll just add more gauze. There you go. Just keep adding on. Makes so sense. we've got lots of gauze on now, and we want to hold this wrap in place. How do you do that? We, I'm going to get you to hold that, okay. take a piece of nylon. Oh, come on, really? And we slip the nylon over Kitty's head. Very important that we do this because if Kitty starts shaking her head and we don't have the wrap secured, the blood won't clot and it will start to spurt everywhere. That is fantastic. It's a piece of nylon, for heaven's sake. And now she's ready to go to the vet. Okay. You're going to live. Great. So, the cat's going to be all right. 